Hey, Monty. What are you doing? Uh, so, so um, here we are at the Apocalyptic Ostrom Hawkshaven. And I'm going to walk you through some features that are uh, here on the here on the property that are uh, preserving our natural resources, the water that was uh, eroding through the land just a few years ago is now being um, spread out. You know, we don't, we only get water for water flowing for about a week, maybe a week and a half, uh, as snow melts off in the spring. And come here, you're pulling my pants. Um, so I'm going to walk you up through these features here and I'll, I'll show you. So like right now at this level, we're going to be underwater, hopefully in um, about a week or two weeks or whenever we get another big snow and it melts off. So we've got these big holes in the ground that I also use to gather up my rocks for building my walls, right? And so I come down here with the tractor and I, uh, I say, oh, look what I found, right? Uh, rock for a wall. So we got a videography is not going to be great on this one because I've really got to watch where I'm stepping or, <laughs> or I'll be, uh, I'll be here struggling with a broken leg or something. And you guys are going to be helpless because you don't even, it's not even on YouTube yet. So you won't know that that guy just got stuck out in the, out in the hills. And his dog had to eat him because they got hungry and <laughs> or whatever. Hey, pull buddy. Pull. Good boy. Good boy. Pull, 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 <laughs> pull, go, go. You, oh, you turd. Come on, man. Holy crap, this is really steep, right? Okay, go that way. Good boy. All right, come on. Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely treacherous terrain. And so we're going to see how much water we have in our first oh we don't have none yet i hear the water running it just hasn't made it to where we're at yet come on buddy come on so that's saskatoon bush there and elderberries here see we got water flowing and it's filling up the alright so right here this is a pipe going over the swimming pool so later on today, I gotta get the siphon going. It'll siphon from this little pool and fill up the swimming pool a couple hundred feet that way. Monty, this way. Oh, actually, you're 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 right. Let's go this way. It's easier this way, Dad. Come on, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. The guardian of the canyon. Monty needed a, a pit stop. Hey, bud. Hey, come on. Nope. This way. Monty, come this way. Under. All right, good boy. This way.
Monty, you gotta come my way, bud. Yeah, gotta come my way. Well, hold on, dude. <laughs> you, you're way better at this than I am, brother. Yeah, you got four feet on the ground. That's a good one. All right, buddy. Up, up, go. Good boy. Up, up, up. Come on, buddy. Up. So this is coming off of a very large watershed. So this water will come off as a full sheet once it warms up. Come on, hey, go up there. Go that way. So I dug these holes. That way the water will pour into here and make a lot of noise. And uh, yeah, it kind of gives people a shit in the summertime too. Huh. Hey, go get in the water. Yeah, get in the water, bud. Get in the water. Yeah, fuck you, you get in the water. <laughs> So anyway, this is what we're managing. This used to just run across the river, or run across the property, and cause erosion and uh, knock out roads and add to the uh, rivers, right? But the rivers don't need any help. <laughs> you know what we need is we need is hydration in the mountains. And when the mountains are hydrated, they let out springs. And so then it's like a consistent flow instead of torrential. And that's going to do a lot of things. That's going to reduce the flooding, the fire, the erosion, the drought, the famine, and all a lot of these problems that we're facing every year in scarcity or like when sometimes we have so much water that it's in abundance, because, but it becomes... Uh, devastating or, or damaging so this is where we're at right manage the water manage the air manage the elements and the space that we live and we all thrive <laughs>